As with all of our Tentbox models, the Tentbox Cargo can fit on any car. You just need a set of crossbars like this. You can buy crossbars for any vehicle, and if you need help finding any, please just contact our support, and we'll be happy to source some for you. So the first thing you need to do with the Tentbox Cargo is attach all of the parts to it. So you've got your crossbars for the top, you've got your closing brackets to shut down the tent, you've got your handle, and you've got your ladder brackets where you're going to fix the ladder to. Now, the great thing about the Cargo is it's got these channels along the top and the bottom of the shell, which allows you to slide all sorts of different attachments onto it. So you've got obviously the crossbars, you've got the ladder bracket, so you can choose wh whether you want to have the ladders on the sides or at the back. Um, you've got your closing buckles, which you can adjust the position. We've also got handles you can put on there. And over the coming months, we're going to be launching all sorts of new accessories for this product. So keep an eye out on our website for that. So the first thing we're going to do is mount the crossbars to the top of the tent box cargo. Now, you've obviously got your two crossbars here, and you've got these brackets, which hold the crossbars on top of the cargo. Now, the first thing to do is to attach the bracket to the bar. So find the part with two holes, and that's the bit we're going to fix onto it. Orient it this way around so the flat, the sticking out bit is on the edge. And using the metal pieces in here, we're going to screw it, screw it into place. Now, to do this, you're going to have to line it up and then flip it over like this so that the screw can reach into that thread. Do it by hand to start with. And there you go, that one's in. And again, using your Allen key that's provided, line it back up with the other hole, grab the other screw, and sometimes you need to flip it, sometimes you don't. But that one's in now, so that's done, hand tightened. And you've got that piece on there. We're going to do the same with all four brackets, so they're all on the bars. So before tightening up these brackets completely to the bars, you want to make sure you adjust, adjust it right to the edge. Um, obviously it's very important to get the correct distance here for it to fit on top of the cargo, um, but we're going to do that on the actual cargo. The first step is to choose one end, push it so it's just protruding over the edge, and then tighten it up fully. It's important at this stage to make sure you do tighten this up, and remember the other one is now loose. It's not been tightened because what we're going to do is adjust, adjust that in a minute on the tent box. So bring that bar across with your fixed end here. All of the attachments on these rails use the same fixing system. You've got these tiny bits of metal and then a screw which will then attach to it. So that's how we're going to attach these crossbars. The first thing is to push the piece of metal into the channel. Now you're going to want to push it to, to where you want the bar. Now we're, we're going to have it here because that's where we like to position it. And at that point, you then grab your bar, flip it over, and we're going to use these screws on these holes here to find this thread and attach it. Now, you can use the bottom ones, the bottom two holes, or the top two holes, just depending on whether you want it to be higher or lower. We're going to use the bottom two in this case. So it's good to have someone else on the other side here, obviously, to keep it up, and also to pull it, which helps you find the thread with the screw. So you can use the Allen key provided to just nudge this metal piece in line with the hole which allows you to then find it by hand. Once you've got them both in, give them a little tighten with your Allen key. When that's in, we can go to the other side and make sure that that bracket is adjusted to the right distance. So you'll remember that we've left this one loose. So what you can do when that side's done up is use that to adjust this piece to make sure it's flush with the side of the tent box cargo, which it is now. Using your hands, just hold that in place. So I'm holding it with my left hand, and I'm gonna tighten it with my right, making sure that it's in that exact right position. Again, you want to make this nice and tight. And once you've done that, you know it's in the right position and you can do exactly the same as you did on the other side. We're going to slide two pieces of metal down this channel and then screw it on. There we go. And yeah, we're going to repeat the exact, exact same thing with the other bar. So just one little tip, sometimes it can be quite hard to get the screw to catch on the thread because uh, the piece is, there's a bit of space in there for it to move around. So if you get a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, you can just push up against it which allows the thread to then catch and then you can take the screwdriver out and it's done. So just a small tip for you. And yeah, tighten them up. So once your bars are attached, it's now time to put all the other pieces on. So there's a few pieces that come with your tent box which are essential. Uh, first one's the pole base. Now this is the thing where the pole for the awning or the little porch will go into. So that goes on the front of the tent box or the back depending on how you want, but the part that opens. And again, it's got the same fixing mechanism. We're just going to slide it on here. 
making sure that the hole is facing outwards that way. And again, this one's going to face outwards that way. It will make more sense when you see the poles in it. And we're just going to tighten those up. So you've also got a closing handle, which you can put anywhere. You can put it on the side. We're going to put it on the front. And again, that just slides on the top channel. And then just tighten it off, as with everything. Open up your tent box. So the next thing we're going to do is put the ladder brackets on. So the ladder brackets can go anywhere you want. We've got a door at the side, a door at the other side, and a door at the back. We're going to put it on this side door, but obviously you can choose where to put it. Now the ladder brackets look like this. They go down, they go with this part downwards, not up. Keep make sure it's down. And again, as with everything else, just slide it onto the channel. Now obviously we're going to need to work out the position for these, so we're going to grab the ladder and just make sure we've got the right distance before tightening them up. So there we go. Make sure that the hooks are in the middle of the brackets. It's looking good to me. You can easily get into the door from there. Remove the ladder. Grab your Allen key and then just tighten these up. And so the very last thing to do is to attach the closing buckles. So to do that, obviously we're going to need to close the tent down. So the first part of the buckles we're going to do is the main piece of the buckle. Afterwards we'll do the latch. This goes on the bottom channel of the bottom shell. Um, you, can, you can orient these again how you want. You could have them here and here if you wanted, but that can be quite difficult to close. So probably the best thing to do is to have them on the sides. The further this way you have it, the easier it will be to shut. Um, but it'll be less tight. Um, but we recommend putting it about here, just next to your ladder, your ladder bracket. So again, as with everything, just slide it, slide that bracket on. And we're going to push it right up against the ladder there. Like I said, you can have it here if you want. Just depends how good you are at doing buckles because it can be quite tight up here. So we're going to leave it there. The next thing to do is grab the latch, the, sort of the catching bar for it, um, which is this piece. That's going to go on the top part of the shell. And obviously what you need to do with this one is line it up here so that it's, it's in line. Once you've done that, you can tighten it into place. Just double check that that's in line. Yep, and so you can also tighten the bottom part. So finally we want to grab the final piece of the latch which we're going to take over and that just slots in here so just double check that the latch is lined up again which it is it'll be much easier to close it on the car when it's not on this wobbly table and we're going to do the same on the other side just quickly stick that buckle on too once all of these parts are on your tent box like we just explained it's time to get it on top of your car and get it fixed on so obviously you're going to need someone else to help you with this the part that opens like this is going to be at the back of your car so we're going to spin it round and lift it on. It's important to make sure it's lined up how you want it. Another good thing to check if you've got a tailgate boot like this, make sure it doesn't hit. So obviously that is hitting. So we're going to push it forwards a little bit. And obviously you want to make sure you've got an even amount. And we're going to grab the fixing brackets now and slide it onto the rail. Make sure that it's the long ways going in and not the short ways. So it's very important to make sure that full width is going into the rail. And you slide that on followed by one of these on its own. And what that does is create something that's going to clamp over your crossbar. And we're going to do that on all four corners. What we need to do is lift the back of the tent box now. And then we slide this piece over that bar. Same on the other side. And what that then means is we can tighten this plate up to your crossbar there, like that. So once you're done, the bracket should look like this. You should have four clamps essentially at four different points on your two crossbars. And just make sure they're done nice and tight and that you check them periodically to make sure they're still tight. So once the buckle's undone, give it a push and the gas struts will do the rest of the work for you. Now the tent box cargo has got this elastic piece around it which helps keep the material in when you close it. So first of all, you just pull that down, rest it in the channel here. 
Next thing is to grab your porch poles, and that's when this pole base comes into play. You put the pole into the pole base at the end here, and then push it up to hook into the porch. The ladder simply hooks on. Once it's hooked on, you can let it down like this. Find your required height. Packing away is simple. Grab your ladder. It's a telescopic one, so you just push these two things here and the, the one above will fall down. So be careful not to put your fingers in there. Packs away nice and small. Get the strap on. So take the poles out. Don't forget to use this piece of elastic to help hold the fabric in. It's very important to make sure you tuck all the fabric in. Again, put some pressure on the top to close the buckle. Let's do the same on the other side. You're now ready to use your tent box. I hope you found this video useful, and if you've got any other questions, please just contact our support team.